Well, hi, I'm Jay Arthur, author of Agile Process Innovation, Lean Six Sigma Demystified, and QI Macros. Uh, you know, it's, it was kind of interesting to me. We, we have a fishbone diagram in the QI Macros. We have a small, medium, and a large. And somebody called in and said, well, you know, in this large, it doesn't have this, the fifth bone for the environment thing. And so uh, Nick on my staff went ahead and put one in there for him. Uh, but one of the things I know is if you do a good job with data analysis and narrow your focus, you're going to end up with a minnow bone diagram, not a whale bone diagram. When you start whale bone diagramming, you're not narrow enough in your focus. You know, and even the medium one, if you fill up all the bars in there, I still think you're whalebone diagramming. You need to go back, do some data analysis, narrow your focus, find the thing that really needs fixing. And when you do that, you'll end up with a minibone diagram. It won't have that many bounds. So that's my improvement insight for this week. Avoid whalebone diagramming, right? Even tuna bone diagramming or salmon bone diagramming, right? Narrow your focus so that you get down to a minnow bone diagram. Let's go out and improve something this week. Are you still using line, bar, and pie charts from the last century? You might want to consider control charts, Pareto charts, and histograms. Smart charts for the 21st century.